Hello everyone and welcome to the NordVPN review brought to you by GoBestVPN.com. Today we'll go over NordVPN as a company and brand first, then pricing and other bits, then to the actual VPN client itself. NordVPN isn't the one to run promotions all the time, but when they do, they offer really nice discounts. You can get NordVPN for $2.99 per month on average. That's a really nice deal. If this isn't the best price available today, try visiting NordVPN through the link in the description box for the best price. So let me first explain everything that they're showing off on their website. NordVPN provides secure and private access to the internet. Well, that's not such a special promise. We've reviewed a ton of VPNs and this sentence is all too familiar. But NordVPN has some good reasons why. We'll go over that in a bit. They will protect all your devices, up to six devices at a time. And they have over 5,200 servers in 62 countries worldwide. That's a crazy amount of servers, actually. Not many VPN providers have this many. But the question is, are these 5,200 physical servers or how many of them are virtual instances? Obviously, they've been reviewed by many different people, including Philip DeFranco on YouTube and different people across the web. Um, and they've been published on different magazines and publications. Price $2.99 per month on average for their three-year plan. If you know anything about NordVPN, they've been a reliable brand for several years now. Uh, so the three-year plan is very uh, approachable for many people. And in fact, we would even push you to go for the three-year plan if you feel that NordVPN checks all the boxes. So let's talk about the security features. Military-grade encryption. What this means is that they use AES 256-bit keys. This is a standard and not just the military, but other government institutions and banks use it too. Today, most top-tier VPN providers have this option. So again, this is nothing new. But it is important that they do have this option as numerous other VPNs don't have this option. CyberSec, this is equivalent to having Windows Defender and Adblock. It's Nord's own some kind of proprietary software that acts like a Windows Defender and Adblock combined. We've tested this feature and to be honest, it's not so bad. I would prefer the Windows Defender Adblock and having a brain to not visit shady sites and downloading malware. Double VPN for the anonymity and security freaks. This option basically encrypts your activity twice over. Look into double hop or multi hop if you're really curious about this. Just one note, this method will significantly slow down your connection. Going down the list of features, they have a strict no logs policy as a top tier VPN should have. Uh, this means that they don't keep track of your activities and your IP address and so on. Um, they have a kill switch in case you lose connection to the NordVPN servers. Uh, it kills your internet connection so that your identity isn't leaked. They have DNS leak protection. And this is something really interesting. They have Onion over VPN. Basically, NordVPN integrates well with uh, the Onion network. You can read about the Onion network. It's really interesting. It, it basically adds a, another security element, uh, another anonymity element to uh, your browsing experience. And of course, if you use NordVPN, you're going to look as cool as this guy right here. What a cool guy. Get NordVPN. And of course, they go down into different uh, programs you can download, such as uh, different apps uh, for your phones and so on, different programs on your, on your desktop and browser extensions and so on. And this part is a little deceiving. They don't have a live chat feature, but you can talk to them through social network. I guess uh, that's one method of talking to them but they do have a healthy selection of reading materials and um, different ways of reaching them. So they don't lose many points on that part, but it does kind of suck that they don't have a live chat support. But we're thinking that they have so many customers that uh, it might be quite difficult to have a live chat feature working um, to, the, to the level that they, they would want it to perform. For those of you living outside of the United States, just remember that uh, there is a VAT involved. So if you live in the US, you don't have to pay extra taxes, but let's say you live in the United Kingdom, there is a 20% VAT. So in case you can pay with cryptocurrencies and so on, um, where the payment method is a bit more anonymous, uh, maybe you can set your address to the United States and avoid the tax. Once you have paid for the subscription successfully, you'll be directed to a password reset page where you get to choose your password. And after that, you'll be directed to this confirmation page where the installer will download automatically based on your operating system. And if it doesn't, just press this button and it'll start a download. And here are the instructions to starting it. 
you install, you log in, and then you're set. That's it. After you install and launch the program for the first time, you'll be prompted to a login screen where the email address is the email address that you use for the sign up when you were paying for NordVPN and the password, you should have gotten a password reset link before you even installed this client. So use that. As soon as we log in, we get prompted to use CyberSec. Like I said before, I prefer to use Windows Defender um, along with Adblock and using my brain, so I don't need this, but if you tend to get viruses a lot, then maybe you should turn this on. Within the VPN client itself, um, there's an ad here pretty much uh, pushing you to get the VPN for mobile. Um, I'm not sure why they do this. They already know that we've already paid for it. So I'm just gonna X this out. Right off the bat, I'm impressed by NordVPN's client interface. You'd be surprised how many VPNs actually get this wrong. So we have a massive server list on the left-hand side where we can actually expand on the country and pick the different regions and the actual server. As you can see in the US alone, they have quite a few servers. Of course, you can scroll towards the top and there are specialty servers as well. We can go to the settings tab where there are some basic settings here. Um, it shows you your current software version um, and right off the bat, the CyberSec feature, which we personally don't want, but maybe you want it um, auto connect. Maybe you want it on start Nord on startup, internet kill switch, invisibility on LAN, app kill switch, notifications, start minimize. Um, I'm not sure why you would need notifications, but uh, we're gonna turn that off. And of course, for the techies out there, there are some advanced settings that you can configure. You just have to scroll down here a bit and you confirm that you know what you're doing and you can choose the different protocols, custom DNS and all these things. The only downside here is that there are only two protocols as we can see um, and it's not too customizable. Under my account tab, you can see your email address used as well as your expiration date on your subscription. So let's get down to connecting real fast I just clicked on this and it finds the best server for me. I'll take some time to find the best server for some reason, but we're connected and actually that wasn't so bad. Now let's try switching servers manually. It seems like it takes just as long for us to connect manually than for NordVPN to automatically put us in a optimized server or however you want to call it. But it's fast enough. I would think that maybe there is about 20 seconds of waiting time before connecting to a new server. In case you didn't know, NordVPN actually works with Netflix. You can read our review to find out how to access those servers. With a fairly cheap price, top of the line security features, pretty interface, with all your media needs like Netflix and torrenting options, you can't go wrong with NordVPN. But maybe, just maybe, you're interested in more than that. Maybe you wanna learn about their logging policy in detail or learn about our speed test results. The full NordVPN review is in the link in the description box below, so go through it and make sure you get your money's worth.